Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm a little tired because I stayed up later than I should have because time is fleeting in a construct, but unfortunately, <laughs> I just lost track of it. Well, there's a good reason why I lost track of it, but I'll get to that in a sec. But anyway, we're going to be playing more Dragon Quest Eight this morning. We might finish it. We might not. I don't really know because I don't know how long it's going to take to find all these these dragon or dragon balls not dragon balls you know <laughs> but yeah we're gonna be playing more of that this morning but before we begin i am still fundraising for the lgbtq freedom fund lgbtq people are three times more likely to be jailed at risk of abuse many can't afford bail they get them out yeah so that's what they that's what the lgbtq freedom fund helps they help get people out of jail just because People in uh, LGBTQ folks in jail tend to be discriminated against horribly, and a lot of times we're a little poorer than cis normative folks. So yeah, these folks help combat that at least a little bit. So if that sounds like something you'd like to donate towards. I below my stream I have a donation a button, should be like green or something like that, that will take you to the Tiltify page. I also have an exclamation point donate command which will take you to the same place. And my chatbot shares that every 30 minutes. And when the stream screen comes up in the bottom left corner of the screen, I'll have a QR code that you can scan with your mobile device that will also help you donate. Any way you choose to do so would be greatly appreciated. I don't see any money of it, and it just goes towards the cost. So thank you if you do. Let's see. All right. I initiated some sort of like game scanning list in my uh, game library because I added a new game to that, but like, we're gonna have to just let that do so do its own thing in the background. Maybe. Okay, looks like uh, DQ8 is popping up. There we go. I'll let that do whatever it does and I'll figure out what's going on with it um, later because. We have a different PS2 game that we start playing tomorrow. Tales of Tales of the Abyss. Almost the Tales of Legendia. As much as I love that game, no. <laughs> Alright, time for me to pull up a walk, the walkthrough, because, yeah, um... Okay, I was on the right track, it's in Golding's house, which is where I was kind of wandering around last stream. I just probably didn't search in the right spot. Come back during daytime. Oh, it is, it is night. There is a skybox. Excuse me. Excuse me, honey. You're looking, you look really nice, but, um, yeah, I, I, I gotta make it not daytime. <laughs> as, as lovely as you are, we're not here to see you. We're here to see the, we're, see, we're here to see a, a nice bed and some sheets. <laughs>
Mr. Thick Man, goddamn. Um, I'm almost certain that we're working on an alchemy recipe right now. Yeah, we're working on the same test shield. And after that, we're gonna. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. And after that, we're gonna start working on the Timbrel of Tension. It's just a matter of where did this guy actually die? Did he die in his like love seat over here? I would assume he was killed in his bedroom or whatever, but <laughs> that's what the dude looked like, or allegedly. Had some had some cute kids. Then was he murdered in the... Hmm. Was he murdered in the bathroom? Didn't really check any of this. I was just like, oh, well, there's nothing here. And then... Lalameo. You know. Although perhaps this isn't, wasn't his uh, bedroom. It's ba Benoy. It's the Benoy. It's the year of the Benoy. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's nothing in there. Let's check some of the other rooms. This looks like a place where all the house folks sleep. That jar up there will escape my wrath, but only briefly. I will, I will, I will spoil this world in darkness. Oh, or maybe, maybe this is where. I, well, there, there's the orb. That's what I need to look for when looking for the orb is a sparkly on the ground. Yeah, I never came in this room, apparently. So he was like, he was murdered by, right behind his couch. Rude. That's a that's a rude ass place to murder someone. Well, I guess just about anywhere is a rude ass place to murder someone, but that's like an especially rude. He's just relaxing. His fucking daughter is like serving up fucking looks. <laughs> Son too. Cannot deny. All right, so that's one orb. An... Oh, I kind of went out to a place that I didn't really intend to go to, but hey, I got a free magic water out of it. All right. Zoom. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so let's go to Fairbury. That's where an another orb is, because one of the, like, one of the initial first story beats that someone's house got burnt down. He he was one of the uh, one of the sages' um, descendants. So. Oh, I can already see it glittering. Oh, and it matches the color of the orb, too. Okay. Yeah, he gets two, two round to fit through the little crevasse there. Alright, so that's two. 
So Fairbury. We're gonna go to the top of the tower place again. Excuse me, what? I I used the thing to lower the monster rate and here they are anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just run away, I guess. I mean I can wipe them all out in like one hit probably, but eh. I was expecting the holy protection thing to like, you know, do what it's supposed to, but it didn't seem like it really wanted to work. Let's see. Ah! They've mixed some hard enemies in with these little ones. Well, I guess we'll deal with this one then. You look like a sun, so here, have the sun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, that still wasn't worth my time, but that was at least an interesting enemy design. Okay, that's not the way. It is this fucking tower. Oh! It's done! Well, at least that recipe is done. A Saintess shield. All right, so now I need to look at some of these other recipes that are useful. My, there, there's an item on this list here. Actually, there's two that I might be making. Let's see. What about this one? Okay, there's that Sanctus Shield. Silver Shield. Uh, Goddess Ring. I don't know if there's that many more dungeons we're going to be going through, so the Goddess Ring doesn't seem super great. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem like the worst, but... Alright, so... Let's see what else we can make. Okay. I think next I have to make a Sun Crown. Which is a Skull Helmet and Saint's Ashes, and I should have... Both of those. There's the Skull Helmet. And then let's let's go find a saint and sprinkle their ashes. Unless I used all my saint's ashes. Which would be terrible. Because that means I have to probably go get some from the casino. Nope, I still have some. Okay, so skull helmet, saint's ashes.
All right, and then after that we make this Timberwolf of Tension, which is very strong. I also make this Metal King shield depending on how long this stuff takes. And unfortunately, in this this is the PS2 version, despite how it looks. <laughs> I have an HD uh, texture pack kind of deal. But yeah, this is the PS2 version, so. The alchemist just take time and you can only do one thing at a time. It's terrible. All right, let's go up to let's go up this tower and get the uh, the blorb, the blue orb, the blue dragon ball. <laughs> so I was like, wait, I, I I there's other Dragon Quest games that have the orbs. Like Dragon Quest Three chiefly has the orbs. Like it was the first one that does. So I'm very familiar with you know the whole orb. Deal, but I was just like, wait, how many Dragon Balls are? And the answer is also seven, so. Yeah, I was like, wait, this seems familiar. Hmm. Okay, then we do these little flippy roo panels. They get so excited at the thought of you touching them that they just kind of spin around. I don't know which one I do. Probably. It's probably this one. I say I'm gonna have egg all over my fucking face. It's gonna be the wrong one. I haven't been through this dungeon in like four, like probably around 14, 15 streams. <laughs> so it's been a hot minute. <clears throat> I think I, yeah, I had to come up here for something in like the mid game. But otherwise, yeah, it's just like. It's been a minute since I came in this fucking tower. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around. Not a problem because, yeah, the monster repression stuff was working. Like it was, like it was supposed to. I don't know why it didn't work on the... I have a feeling the reason why it didn't work on the overworld is because there's harder monsters out there now. And even if they don't spawn, it just kind of like nullifies the thing. <clears throat> But I'm guessing they didn't they didn't touch the uh, in in dungeon encounter lists or whatever. Oh, it's right here. We walked right over it. Sneaky little bugger. I must that must be where um, Jessica's brother died. Rip. Rip to a real one. All right, next next stop is the Mela Abbey. So gay game, tell us how you really feel.
Okay. Ball time. Or rather, orb. <laughs> so we, we might end up um, making this, doing another stream after this, because I might try to do some level grinding of some kind. Maybe. We'll see. Because I've got alchemy stuff that I apparently I should be should have done or be doing, so we're gonna... Uh, nice mug. Is there just... Um, are you all you knights okay? Oh, don't talk to me. Are they all drunk? What in the hell's going on? What did I walk into? Oh, hello. It's like, what are this lot? What are this lot like? It's like backbreaking carrying all these bottles backwards and forwards. Oh, they're getting drunk as hell because uh, Marcello became the new abbot, but then we fought him and he, like, left. <laughs> so, I guess they all just started to say, being a monk's fucking awful, let's, um... Let's get fucking shwasted. <laughs> let's get white girl, let's get white girl wasted. Yeah, next stream might I might I might make make a sec another stream after this one specifically just for Rapthorn. We might do some level grinding while Alchemy Pot stuff works. Okay, so we've got the gold orb, the gorb. So I got purple, blue, gold, yellow, and then we gotta go to Arcadia. And go to the doghouse, because that's where... <laughs> that's where Raptor possessed the dog and killed that sage. His descendant. Like, just murdered by a... Just killed by a goddamn demon dog. Rip. Literally rip. Watched the life drain from his eyes in real time. <laughs> Is right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I figure a few more levels for some more skill points, some more more stats would probably be in line before we fight Raptorn. Uh, so now we got to go to Marta's cottage. That's where she had passed on. Also by Demon Dog. <laughs> I'm 99% sure it's probably around the, the back here. Yep. It's where she died as well. So apparently for this last uh, last boss fight um, Rap we need to have one spot open in everyone's in everyone's inventory so we'll we're gonna do that. Exactly one spot up, and I think Jessica already has one spot up. And 
Oh, she has. I need to give her a shield. Whoopsie doodles. That's a nice boost of defense for her. And we'll give her this. Uh, in case I need a wisdom seed for a, for a recipe of some kind, perhaps we should hold off. She dress worn by fashionable women in town. About town. Hmm. Okay. So we got six of the seven. We got six of the seven. Now we gotta go to the high priest's uh, place. On a Savella. <clears throat> we have to go to the Pope Mobile. All these mommy goddess statues are just like, oh, goddess. <sighs> Pope Mobile, go. Ah, uh, yes. The lion water fountain. killed right here oh yeah that's right he was standing right there in front of a uh... yeah this is the, the the Lord High Priest well it's he's in the box <laughs> never understood why people like draped like shit like this like I guess like some weird ceremonial thing I just never understood why it's like you see all those coffins are like draped the American flag over. It's like, why? You're just making the coffin look worse. <laughs> all right, we have all the orbs, but there's lots of alchemy for us to still do. Uh, let me see. This is about. Metal King Shield. Okay, that's one we're gonna want to make if we have all the stuff for it, which I think we do. Is there like Metal King armor as well?
Liquid Metal Armor is purchased for 50,000 tokens. Oh boy. I guess we can go see uh, how many mini metals we ended up just finding. Because been, it's been a while since we've uh, been back there. So we should have at least a decent amount of these. Well, hello, I'm Minnie, Princess of Metals. Oh, you've brought one medals already. Let me take a look. 74. Ooh, that's rookie numbers. Oh, I got a miracle sword, even though I don't have anyone to use the swords. A suit of sacred armor. Well, apparently I just missed a whole bunch of medals along the way. Especially since at 83 you get a piece of more chalcum. And I'm pretty sure I probably missed a piece of more chalcum um, from the Black Citadel. I got one in the barrels, but I, I'm almost certain that there's like uh, a piece in a chest that I just didn't feel like going to do and get, and so we probably missed out on it, but no matter. Okay. Oh, you, uh, you have the silver shield. That's the best. That's probably the best shield for Yangus at some point. Um, unless this one. Unless uh, it is slightly better, but. Fire. Yeah, it is better. Um, hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be um, making this whenever possible. We're still making the sun crown. Um, well, I guess in that case, we should probably go find somewhere to grind. Let me s I'm going to look up real quick um, grinding locations. I wear him, you big man. What's up? He doesn't usually come visit me in the morning. It's usually my cat. What's up, bud? Are you just bored, little guy? Hmm. What's up? You're, you're on my desk, dude. That's not where you need to be. Oh. I will, okay, I will hold you like you are a, a sacred child <laughs> in the air. 
Uh, I really wish you wouldn't get on my desk. You're too big. <laughs> this cat is too big for my desk. Uh. Okay, so the consensus is go somewhere high up, because that's where the metal, that's where the liquid metal slimes are at, and they're fast to fight. Although apparently, you can find metal king slimes somewhere, but there's also other enemies to deal with. But at the same time, they can also just bring the other the metal kings back to life. So it's like, hmm. So we need to find somewhere with high a high location. I, I have an idea where that was gonna be because I think gold golems show up there too. So so we're gonna just do some alchemy and try to grind some XP. Oh, there's a Pichu. Yep, here's the place. I'm just up here. Yep. Game? That's not what we need to see. I don't know what that image even is. <laughs> If we didn't have to, if we weren't doing alchemy, we'd just do whistle a whole bunch. Killer croakers. Oh, you're not exactly who I wanted to fight, but. But you will do what we we must. A lot of numbers. And they're all dead. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad XP itself, I guess, but certainly not the reason we're here. Oh, neither of these guys, but these guys are cool, I guess. Giganti. <laughs> Probably more effective to do Kafrizzle than to do multi target spells. More, it'll, be more, it'll get more damage done with Jessica at least. Yeah, they do a little bit of damage. If they hit, I guess. You can 
say. Yeah, these are a little beefy. I, maybe, maybe I should have tried to run, but... Mm. Jeez. Well, at least Angela can get some of his MP back. <laughs> only, only just. Well, we're just walking around, trying to find the encounters with the liquid metal slimes. And anything else is just kind of XP, I guess. Oh, dark turkey. <laughs> hello, dark. Hello, dark turkey. I think before I think we hit our table before this this the, the end game stuff had bloody hands. So it's kind of weird that there's muddy hands now. Pretty sure this dark turkey is gonna be a no more annoying than anything else. I say as this little frog dodges everything, apparently. Time to time to bake the turkey. Oh, it's not dead. Alright, well. Well that's annoying. Wait, no, I need to have you do Seraph Zero to get some of your stuff back. Or at least try to get some of your stuff back. Oh, 12, nice. Rude. You're a nasty little frog. A <laughs> bandana, oh wow. Uh, we'll use the Sage of Stone one of these other turns with Hero, I guess. Honestly, once this, um, I might try my luck at, um, the, sli the secret slime island. Oh, well, never mind. Here's some, here's some liquid metals here. In a group, no less. Oh, one of them stuck around. Two of them stuck around, alright. Well, I hit everything that's not a fucking liquid metal. Okay, one's dead. Kinda wishing I didn't pick Boomerang now, because if I had a spear with Hero, we could have Thunder Thrust. But at this point in the game, it's too late for me to really change that without doing a lot of grinding, so, yeah. If you play this game, have the Hero do Spear or Sword. Boomerang is cool and can be useful throughout most of the game, and in the end, when you're trying to grind like this, yeah. No. Alright, that well, we got we got one. So that'd be at least some XP for our time. I mean, we are getting good amount of skill points still, but this, this needs to go into a uh, probably humanity. Oh, the huge manatee. And 
Well, I guess after Courage, I can probably get Swords. Because I'm going to get, like, a Falcon Blade and do Metal Slash and that kind of garbage. Stuff that you do bef when you don't really have Thunder Thrust. But then again, I don't, I don't know what level Thunder Thrust is. Lionhearted learns... I was wondering if that was going to happen. That is awesome. And I think, yeah, with Courage, one of the things that the Courage skill tree does is make it to where healing spells cost like, like one third less, which for Omni Heal is huge because that costs a lot of MP, so that is a party-wide full heal if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, all HP for all party members, so yeah, that's, that's going to be nice. Glad I decided to level up, because I was just literally about to get that. Oh, fat bats. <laughs> Kaboom, and the bats are gone. <laughs> Oh damn, they're almost just gone anyway. Well, they seem a little underpowered. Eh, oh well. It would seem that the gold golems are nowhere to be seen unless this is just a really massive encounter table. Entirely possible. Ugh. All the birds dead, somehow. Okay, you're bringing a, another bird back. Because I guess we didn't have enough birds. <laughs> I guess this stream is going to be the pre-finale stream. Because we'll do all we'll do as much of the prep as we can before Raptorn this stream. And then next stream, which will be next week, we will... Um, do, we'll finish the game with, you know, fighting Raptorn and all that. Because we have all the orbs. We can do it now, but I don't really want to. Because I want to make sure I'm prepared. Uh, let's just do Kaboom. Or just regular Boom. Rude. That's what rude birds get. They get hit with, in the face with a big axe. <laughs> I mean, on, a, on in average, these encounters are giving a good amount of XP, but like it's nowhere near. It's no nowhere near close to uh, you know. <clears throat> I guess we had holy protection on while all that was happening. I don't know if that really impacted things, and I don't know if you're harder or than I don't know if you're harder than <laughs> the two gigantai that we fought earlier. But you're in the same place. Probably not. You seem like you have a lot less HP. It's weird that you would just be by yourself. 69 gold coins. We're not really doing this for gold, because I don't think there's much else we can really spend gold on other than, like, casino tokens at this point. 
That and like magic waters for training. Oh, these guys are back. These guys are people that are monsters that are typically up here before um, other monsters show up, like the uh, what you call it? Before the um, end game stuff happens, and you start seeing those dark monsters from the shadow from the dark world, I guess. Uh, Kaswoosh! And Kasizzle! These monsters are immune to lightning, which means they're immune to shining shot and boom spells. How are you faster than fucking Jessica? That seems improbable. Crunch. <laughs> Those bomb crack enemies are a lot scarier in older games because they know I. Um, I guess in this game it's called a. Uh, what well, is it still called? I, I think it's called a uh, Kamikaze now. Fittingly enough, but I think it was called Sacrifice in older Dragon Quests, like the older English ones at least. Pretty sure the um, well, and all and oh, okay. I guess the gold golems still do still live here. Maybe it's a time of day thing that those enemies all spawn like that. All right, well, this is about to get really, really nat, really ugly. Not really, but. It's fine. Well, that one's dead. <clears throat> Those kidney cats are from an earlier zone. I don't know why they're here. <laughs> that's okay. Well, that's some gold. It's basically the only thing from that encounter that's worth the shit. Eh, they're a little weaker than the blue guys. Well, the dark blue guys, rather. The dark, bl the, the dark blue guys with the darker blue little frock. Or whatever. Still 69 coins. Um, we're gonna actually go to try and gully. Hey, right, rest at the inn and buy some more magic waters. And then we're gonna go to that slime island, because I've... There's liquid metals there too, and probably a lot less other enemies. There are those mimics, but we're so much stronger now that it probably doesn't matter. And we also get to Naruto run around as King Trode.
Does the and is also very cheap. And something not quite well I, I've got notifications but it's not anything like I have to like stop streaming to take care of it's like go live stuff and yeah, these magic waters are strictly for Yangus <clears throat> Because he's going to be the one using um, the uh, executioner skill, and he doesn't have as much MP as everyone else, so those will be to just keep him just doing, you know, the thing. Sometimes you just gotta do a thing. You are shiny. Oh, the light does reflect off of you. Nice. And, and... Huffle Scuff did a real good job with this fucking texture pack. Everything looks great. There's only been a few hiccups here and there. Like when we were like when we were getting out of the Black Citadel, there was like this monster fight that had really fucked up graphics because I guess it just wasn't um, properly. Um, maybe done or something because there's a lot of things in this game and yeah hello Neki thanks for the GABA <laughs> GABA 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 we are doing we, we have all the set we have all seven Dragon Balls <laughs> and so now we are um, we're gonna go try to we're gonna go we're doing some grinding and alchemy stuff I want to I want to test how this little island does because there was um we're gonna see how this place compares to the place I was just at I I only found like one group of three liquid metals oh yeah all these slimes are here and oh they can't they won't let me run. <laughs> That one's horny, and they're just gonna run away. I'll, I'll just have to fight them. Uh, annoying, but I literally they won't. I literally can't run from them, which is weird. Hmm. Normally I'd be whistling, but I'm trying to do alchemy stuff, so I don't want to whistle right now. But good morning, Neki. How are you doing? Oh, oh, there's one. That was fast. Hopefully, it sticks around. So have to fight this dark cat that's been added to the encounter table. Apparently, I was hoping that there wouldn't have been anything added to the encounter table, but you know, what what can you do? I'll just use boom because it's supposed to just to soften the enemies. Oh, you, you're you're feeling feisty today, aren't you, little slime? Yeah, I must want that chest to be died to be died. Oh, I actually hit them. Oh, ow, rude. All right, that makes this area a little less ideal, but that's fine. The other place that enemies I don't want to deal with as well, so. Oh no. Well that's unfortunate. They've got they've definitely got at least like that many just unique designs by at this point. There, there's certainly enough to just do you know that. What was I doing? Oh. You and uh, you, I guess. Bad cat. G. 
Jeez. This cat's thick. Oh, it's using... Whatever the move is called now, it's like a attack first kind of skill. Oh, that was a nice 10k XP from the one liquid metal we were able to, to vanquish. Alright, more running around. I'm comparing to different grinding areas. You are very fluffy. Nice texturing on you. Yeah, we're doing alchemy, so I have to kind of run around anyway. So we're just running around testing different grinding areas. All the little chests are easy. And their XP reflects that. Oh! Let's be done! <clears throat> okay, the Sun Crown. Which is a very great item on its own, but we are going to be using it as part of a recipe. Like, immediately. Oh, Yingus has it. Uh, I think it's with a uh, tough guy tattoo. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I have to look. I can't remember. Um, tough guy tattoo and a magic beast tide, which we should have somewhere. I think I helped been holding on to some of those just in general. I think is this nasty looking thing. Yep. Th thankfully, I held on to one because yeah. Otherwise, I'd have to go just try to find one or get one. Yep, that is going to be the Timbrel of Tension, which I guess is, like, the single best, like, best item in the game. So, more walking around! Hey, we're walking here! I want to kind of compare this area. Well, I'm, I'm already a little downsided against this area because of these fucking big ass dark saber cats that just do a lot of damage. Yeah, this stream is going to be grinding slash alchemy stream. In the next stream, we have all the seven orbs. Or, uh, yeah, orbs. <laughs> I've been, I've been making, like, Dragon Ball's, Dragon Ball fucking, like, references about the, the orbs and the Dragon Balls, like, the entire stream already. Because it's, there's seven of both, and it's like, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Balls! Just to make sure they're dead. Oh well. Alright, never mind. I guess Jessica gets to move after literally everyone else. Yeah, the encounters the encounters that aren't liquid metals here are a little underwhelming. <clears throat> Yeah, these little mimics don't really give you much. <laughs> I love their little dance they just did, though. That was pretty cute. Uh, 
I was look. I was yeah. I was just casually looking at game for cues, trying to figure out where the best uh, running place is. So let's see. Okay, Reddit. Well, that's for the uh, 3DS version, so. So perhaps I need to look back at one of the other guys I was looking at. Dragon Graveyard has Metal King Slimes. Although I don't know if that will get us... Well, I, I guess at night time, we can find uh, Liquid Metals up in the place where I previously was. So, we might just go... Um, do that. Uh, what was I doing? Well, let's go to the, uh, the hillside hut, one of our favorite sleeping places. We'll change it to nighttime, and we'll go to a high place and grind on liquid metals until the, until it's not nighttime anymore. I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there is a, um, high place very close by here, but that's fine. We can fly. Rest until evening. Costs basically no money to stay at this inn, so. Makes it even better. Alright. God bird, god bird, stone. God bird, stone. Godstone bird. <laughs> God bird ball. Yep. Well, that looks like a high spot. Is there anything? Can we land here? I'm guessing not. Yeah, because it'd be like that if we could. Um. That's a high spot, but that's not what it, what it means to be a high spot. Uh, this place up here can have all kinds of metal slimes. I have found the king slimes here, too. Let's try this place out for a little bit. I gotta do alchemy anyway. <laughs> then the whole... <laughs> The whole nighttime thing doesn't really matter for this place either. Like, I think they'll just kind of sh all the slime just kind of show up wherever, whenever. Oh, these bo these bouncing beautiful boys are here. Um, they're too fast. They're too thick. They're too delicious. Scrumptious, luscious boys. Very strong, so we'll just kind of fry him. Oh, 
Oh, dark slimes. I was like, wait, there's like metal slimes? No, these are just like evil slimes, I guess. <laughs> I guess it makes sense for them to be here because they are slimes. I don't think they're very dangerous, but they're probably more dangerous than normal slimes. For whatever that's worth. Okay, maybe that was overkill. <laughs> I can't remember how strong they were. <clears throat> we might also be doing some gambling later this stream too, because <laughs> we have the the big casino is open now, so we can go there and gamble. I think some some of the games at that casino are be, have better odds or something. I'm afraid I'm afraid these dark slimes are gonna skew the Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid these are gonna skew the encounter rates for all the liquid metal the, like the metal slimes. Which will make this place worse. I got a feeling all places are a little, are a little worse. Dude, well, maybe not interior places. So maybe this dragon graveyard place that I was reading about would be a place to try. I mean, might as well. I just don't know if the alchemy stuff will happen while I'm in there. <clears throat> Which is why I don't want to do it, because I am doing alchemy while doing this grinding stuff. I'll just have Mabus do a uh, Sage of Stone next round. Heal the little bit of damage we've already taken. It's not an awful lot. <clears throat> Maybe not this fight. Because they'll just do a bit more damage. Or I'll, I'll do it, and if we get the heal off, great. If not, then... Whatever, you know. Oh, sweet. Alright, cool. Sometimes it gives pri it seems like it sometimes it gives priority to healing actions, so hopefully I think that's probably what happened, but Sometimes Hero just kind of does actions for other people anyway, even though they probably shouldn't because of speed, but speed is kind of a suggestion in Dragon Quest, it seems like, sometimes. Okay, yeah, it was this area over here where I found the liquid, the, the Metal King slimes previously. Oh, hey, there's a, a good mix. There's, there's evil, there's evil slime, like the evil, like old school Mickey Mouse slimes, and then they got the metal slimes. <laughs> I was up and just kill a move before Angelo, but. Mostly because oh, I could try. Yeah. Cause with these with these little slimes, you um like it's entirely possible to actually just kinda kill them without using the um the like 
executioner or hatchet man skill stuff. Because they only have like four, three or four HP. <laughs> so sometimes you can just kind of kill them without really meaning to. Partially why I wanted multi shot with, uh, you know, Angelo anyway, because sometimes you can just kind of do it. And they're, they just they seem like they just have a death wish anyway, so. <laughs> so maybe I'll target this other one instead in case we can kill off the uh, first one. Because it already has like two, dam two or so damage on it. Yep, see, we killed that one just through sheer numbers. And it's, <laughs> it's just hanging around. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, we're... It's a 50-50 with, with uh, Executioner. No reason why they, d they decided to give this move an evolution that makes it cost more MP. It's only like one more MP. That's still more MP than it costs to just do still just a metal slime kill. All right, Angelo, you're up. There you go. It's not a lot of XP, but it's better than most of what, what I've getting, been getting most of the time lately. Yeah, like around here is where I found the, the Metal King slimes. Like right next to this like little waterfall. Oh great, you're here too! Uh, fucking saber cats. <laughs> Guess I gotta use some MP on these. They are very big kitty meow meows, but I prefer that they did not exist in this area. Cause I'm just trying to grind on the little little squishy guys, not big kitty meow meows. <laughs> Nice. Not nice, but nice. <laughs> Double nice. <laughs> nice. Triple nice. Well, that battle got me like a thousand XP just because of those cats. Damn cats. Alright, well, more running around because we're, we're doing alchemy. If we weren't doing alchemy, I'd just be doing whistle over and over and over again to get really fast encounters. Then we gotta do alchemy, so we gotta move around and. It's a fucking battle. Um. The Dark Slimes will just kind of die out of happenstance of everything else getting mowed down, so I'm not really going to do anything specific to target them. And Jessica, you're just going to do Kafrizzle on the big, on the big cat, because... Yeah, Angel should be able to finish off the other stuff by himself with Shining Shut. I'll just do that to the... Okay, I, th I, th I think Kaboom would have done more. Well, it's probably dead this turn. There's no probably about it. It's it's gonna die. <clears throat> Not before it gets to like fucking attack though. Ugh. Pain in the ass. Go to sleep. Good kitty.
Oh wow, level 40, nice. Nine skill points. Where am I gonna put these damn skill points now? Um, I saw something about like whips. The ladies thong. <laughs> Why? Why did you name that that? I guess whips are good, like for attack power or something. I don't know, fucking know. Just because whip skills improve, she she learns basic whip fighting techniques. Attack power increased by five. Great. She is sexy dynamite. The hustle dance. That my if, if that's the same hustle as like Silvando has, then that's actually good. I mean, she could just do like a like a lo a lower powered mid heal. For everyone, kind of like a uh, Sage of Stone thing. She's got like off turns where she's not like blasting ass with magic or whatever. Cool. Well, it's not gonna happen this turn because I don't wanna get caught unawares with those cats. Cause they'll they'll get ya. The kitties will get ya. Yeah, we're just gonna roam around here specifically. She even gave them like a, rude, a look like that was fucking rude. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, let's keep let's keep wobbling around. Just kind of in this area because this is like the only place I've seen the the king slimes up here. Oh, that's a few metal slimes. All right. Um. That's, that's, well, Executioner. <laughs> There's so many metal slimes. There's a pretty good chance we get at least one. This is all your strength to cause extreme damage to all foes. Oh no. We might as well just do an attack and see what we get. And. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do anything, but it might be funny. Well, a few of them actually got hit. That's kind of a surprise. <laughs> Just woo 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 woo. Oh, prepare for a lot of just silly miss noises. All right, so we got four of them left. Few, I think a few of them took damage, so they're a little less pristine. Hmm. I have a feeling that very first one's probably gonna be, at the very least, die. Either by executioner or just by virtue of taking like four damage or whatever. Well, that one's one of the ones that probably had the most damage on it, so maybe I should have picked a different target, but oh well. Honestly, at, the, at this point, if we don't kill more than one of these, it's kind of a waste of time because we can kind of get like a thousand XP 
her battle just kind of elsewhere a little more easily too. Whap! Swapped him on. Oh, well. Well, that's at least two, so this battle is worth it. All right, bye. <laughs> I got a feeling I kind of probably would have got more XP if I went to the other high places. Because I haven't seen a single goddamn Metal King slime here yet. Not after this. I did see some in the Black Citadel, funny enough, like in the room before that one circular room. Which is kind of funny that we found them there. Yeah, let's actually try Kaboom as opposed to uh, Frizzle. It might do more damage to both of them since they seem resistant to uh, fire. Rude. Okay, yeah, it does do a little bit more damage. suck. These cats suck. I don't like fighting these things. <laughs> they, they can just do desperate attacks whenever they feel like it. Just kind of bullshit, honestly. Whatever. We have two people that can revive anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much, I guess, but... I'm pretty sure it's morning. Yeah, we're gonna go somewhere else. This is not been productive. <laughs> this place was better when there wasn't just dark slimes and dark saber cats to fucking ruin our day. And we'll go here, we'll sleep. I don't know if it's morning yet, but if necessary we'll sleep twice. So where it'll be nighttime and then we'll go to some, one of those high Yeah, it's, it's technically nighttime, so. We'll just keep wandering around, getting some more XP while waiting for alchemy stuff to cook. Because we've got to make a... We've got to finish this Timbrel of Tension, and I think there's a shield that we can make. Yeah, this is the easiest fly location for me to get to and remember where it is, because it's just up here. Alright. 
More walking! <laughs> oh, hell happened there. I still don't know what that screen that pops up is. It seems weird. It seems like that's like a weird part of the texture pack that maybe was overlooked. Oh wow, immediately we found some. Yeah, this is this, this method's gonna be way faster. Okay. We'll just do what I shot, I guess. This chicken is gonna get fried. Kentucky fried. Oh, one of them stuck around at least. Oh, there's our target. It's just that one liquid metal slime. <clears throat> oh, dark turkey is no more. 50-50. Well, it's probably gonna run away, but eh, good effort. Infinitely faster metal slimes than the other place I was at. So yeah, we're gonna just do this until we <laughs> until we don't need to do it anymore. <clears throat> oh, you're feeling a little froggy, huh? You're not a little froggy though. Oh, holy shit, Jessica! All right, well that works. <laughs> <laughs> Not the crit I was expecting, but the crit I deserve. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, congratulations, Angelo, on your uh, promotion. I guess in your case, yeah. More charisma. Kill! <laughs> he becomes a romantic knight. Improves his sarcastic snigger. <laughs> I hate That's not a great word to say. Why is that a word? Um, and Master's Chilling Chuckle. This fucking game. <clears throat> I've avoided saying that word as much as possible. <laughs> <clears throat> More liquid metals already. Jeez. Alright, well. Alright, Yang Yangus, you're on it. Shining shot and more, more fried. No, I should probably actually use Kaboom because there's other enemies. Okay, well, I'll... horny turkey, perish. Bad turkey. Well, I guess this turkey might get crit. Nope, it didn't even get hit. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, that sounds like it sounds about right for metal enemies in general. Metal slimes are the worst in the, the first Dragon Quest because they're like just the standard ones. They're like the only ones that exist, I think. And they just they they do the same shit that they do in later ones, but you just don't have. Like abilities or nothing, you're just like some goober with a fucking sword, just desperately trying to get a crit on them or something. It's just like, help! Please have mercy on me. I get like two XP from every fight, and I die at every to everything. Yeah, the the Game Boy Color uh, port of Dragon Quest One fixed a lot of the XP issues that the original had where like you get like fucking no XP from like anything basically it's like pretty pretty terrible why 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 are you all three separate dark turkeys five inches apart because they're not gay <laughs> jokes on you I've got AOE spells you can all be quote-unquote not gay together in hell <laughs> Well, that one's dead. <laughs> he just fell out. 
but on like a sack of fucking potatoes. <laughs> I haven't seen these turkey enemies anywhere else other than this game, so I wonder if they're only been in this game so far. Unless they're in Treasures or some other game I haven't played yet, which, I mean, it's possible, but... Dark turkey drops a garter. You slut. <laughs> a turkey is a whore. <laughs> Me too. Oh boy, well, we don't we don't find the liquid metals every fight, but it's still more than what I was finding otherwise, anyway. Reduces the tension of an entire group. That, like, never is useful. There's only a few enemies even use tension in this game, let alone a fucking group of them. Turkey chop takes takes the phrase chopped chopped turkey quite literally. These little frogs are nasty. <laughs> At the very least, if there's not any, um... If there's not any liquid metals in the group, the XP here is not horrible. It's probably better on average than anywhere else you're gonna really find. When, once it turns daytime, though, it gets worse. Like, it's just not very good. And we'd be, we'd be doing Whistle, like, the entire time if I wasn't trying to do alchemy stuff. Because it just takes so fucking long. Jessica must have died at some point when we got a bunch of XP. Because she's probably supposed to be ahead of Angelo. I think we get her in the party before Angelo. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I don't know what would have happened. I can't remember. Helm splitter. Helm splitter. Angel eyes. Eh, it's probably better just to do kaboom. These, these things just got a lot of HP anyway. Might as well damage them both. Damage them both for a hundred, like a hundred and ten, instead of one of them for like a hundred and sixty. Enormous foot. <laughs> Blue-eyed boy. Got swoosh. Sizzle. A little, a little less damage, but less MP too. Oh, who's dying? Ah, not you. You'll live. Matter of fact, if you get a turn before anyone else, I'll just have you full heal yourself. <laughs> Didn't think so. Oh, well, you might get to do it anyway. Never mind. <laughs> A little annoying, but it's still like better XP on average than whatever fights I was doing beforehand. Uh, no, we'll do mid heals on them too. Uh, 
Alchemy, alchemy, alchemy. I wish it didn't take so damn long to do these alchemy things. Otherwise, yeah, I'd just be doing whistle like back to back to back to back to get into a lot of encounters each night instead of just walking around and doing it this way. Oh, hey, there's some liquid metals. We're just gonna try to blast this chicken into the fucking stratosphere. Oh, you stuck around. You might, you might be dead. It's 50-50. <laughs> that poor, that poor turkey got fucking un deleted. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get deleted. That stinky little, stinky little eyeballs. If there was a pillow that was just a liquid metal slime, I would I would own it and just like lay in it and sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, we get another shot. Just smack the shit out of it. This one's gonna run. It's gonna run now. There's no way it doesn't at this point. It's, it's just been sitting here, getting that shit smacked around a bunch. How did you outspeed that? How did you? <laughs> oh, we killed it with regular damage. The fuck? Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? Why? How? I don't know if Liquid Metals are in DQ2 because I didn't finish that game because the game sucks shit. But, um. DQ3 has Liquid Metals. That's where they first show up, I think. Unless they show up in 2, which I don't know because I didn't finish the game because it sucks shit. I will say, I will complain about Dragon Quest 2 every chance I get because it's just awful. The worst one by far. Granted, it was kind of like the the sequel, so they kind of had like a lot of stuff to kind of try to do after the first one, but it I, it feels kind of like it fell pretty flat to me. The third one much better. Okay, I just fucking ran away. And I played the Game Boy Color port, which was made better, and it was still ass. So yeah, that's one I would probably just not play. If if you're looking to play Dragon Quest games, just don't play that one. Play the first one on the Game Boy Color, and play the third one on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> the Game Boy Color ports are really good. As far as as far as ports go, the Game Boy Color one for DQ3 is the definitive version of the game because it has the most content. And until Square Enix actually releases the 2D HD thing, it's probably just it's not the prettiest one. That would probably be uh, the SNES version. That you can find. Um, there's there's D translation thingies for it on the on the web if you're able to use a web browser. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, which is great, but like, but yeah, like the uh, the Game Boy Color version has like monster medals. Like each monster has like a like a copper, silver, and a gold medal. Like every single monster. Like including, I think, like boss bosses even. And like there's like the uh, well, I think the thief is part of the SNES version as well. I can't remember if the thief is in the the, the NES version. I just it's been a minute and I can't remember all the changes but one change you do know is that the, the Game Boy Color version has thieves has the parts the the Parcheesi stuff which is not Parcheesi called Parcheesi anymore it's called like some like trap doors and something or other I can't remember and I don't know if the Divinagon stuff in the third one on Game Boy Color is in the other versions either but there's some like post-game stuff with that. 
Which for an old ass game like that, th that there's post game stuff at all is impressive, honestly, because it's such an old game. Like, I want to say DQ3 came out, like, before the 90s, which is absurd how how old. Like, they squirted these games out quick and back in the day. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just talking about Dragon Quest instead of actually playing Dragon Quest. <laughs> well, I guess more like... Com oh, I'm not complaining entirely. Only, only somewhat. Yeah, I've played a lot of Dragon Quest. And I need to play the seventh one. That's one of the ones I just haven't... Well, I haven't played four, or five, six, or seven. I'm playing eight now. I've played nine rel religiously. Old games made with love. And by love, I mean just shard it out in like two months because it uses the same, like, combat engine. <laughs> and that's not fair to... To those get to Dragon Quest, the older ones. I mean, Dragon Quest 2 kind of sucks, <laughs> but they did. They did. There was effort put into them. Oh God damn! The damn saber cats are here too. I think it's daytime now. Well, I mean, it looks like daytime, so I'm gonna call it daytime. <clears throat> Don't waggle your nasty little finger at me. Can't really give. Well, I'm not. I don't give the the first game any flack because it basically made the fucking genre of JRPGs all on its fucking own. So I can't really give too much hate to that. Plus, it's well, the numbers are a little cruel, but the Game Boy Color port makes the numbers a little less bad. Like the XP amounts and gold amounts are higher, so you can actually play the video game and not be like. 90 years old when you finally get XP enough to kind of go to Dragon Lord, but yeah, second game sucks. <laughs> like it's just everything is just kind of meandering and awkward, and like at the end of the game you have to like find these seals, but they don't even give you any hints on where to go. They're just like good luck, find them, lol, and then you have to go find some seals, and I. That's where I just stopped playing it, because it's like, I don't want to fucking play this anymore. It's awful. Yeah, we're going to have to go sleep again, because when there, if there's gold golems, it means it's daytime. Yeah, the game's like, it's just like, haha, good luck finding these obscure-ass things. We're not going to give you any hints or anything at all. You're just going to, you just got to find them. <laughs> Check out this shit. Blah! Argonia is probably the closest place to do our sleeping. until evening and then we'll go back up there and try to kill some more we're just still waiting for this one worm get off the counter you do not need to sniff hamburger buns yeah that's right <sighs> just cat things <laughs> Got hamburger buns in a plastic bag and bastards just starting to was trying to get off the counter.
Uh, all right. <laughs> now that that's over with. <laughs> Freaking cat. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been coming to Argonia to, like, do... Uh, I think this Dragon Graveyard place is, like, right here, actually. I don't think I ever came here. So I don't really know what to be... Oh, <laughs> just so happened to find the thing right here. Well, I guess we can try this place. I don't know if the alchemy stuff's gonna work in here, but... Oh, hey, a chest. Well, I guess it makes sense why there's Tyrantosaurus here. This is a like, dragon graveyard. It's like an elephant graveyard. But for dragons. <laughs> That's convenient. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. There's like these skeleton bridges. <laughs> Dragon. <clears throat> I have a feeling I probably should just go back outside. But, I don't know. I also don't know if we're going to be able to get encounters. Well, I also don't know if we're going to be able to do the, have the alchemy stuff finish in here. Because when you're in dungeons, you can't access the cart. So I don't know if it's going to actually still be just doing stuff or not. I guess we just kind of wander around in here. They're not the enemies aren't very dangerous. It's just a bunch of dragons. If I just use shining shot and kaboom, they're just all dead anyway. Which is pretty nice. It's pretty easy. I love the little Tyrantosaurus's little hands. It's very funny. Alright, well, like, good talk. I mean, honestly, the XP in here isn't really that much worse, so... If I, if I do end up finding the, uh... The, where, like, the Metal King slime spawn, then... Perhaps... That would make this area better. It's also much less likely for there to be um, those dark creatures and oh hello found one now he's wait now we just have to kill him if he doesn't fucking run away that is especially with... well he's given us at least one turn look at this big dude oh we killed him <laughs> nice well, alright, well, this is already way better than what I was doing. Six skill points, more humanity. 
Aang is humanic, he becomes a big brother. Learns the underpants dance. What the fuck does that have to do with being a big brother? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, more courage. I already learned Omni Heal, so I can't imagine what we get next. Nice sack. What do you got in this? What's what's in the sack? Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love me a fresh pile of dragon dung. How it's still? How's it still fresh all after all these years? Don't question it. <laughs> Honestly, one 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 metal king slime is 30k XP as opposed to 10k from the liquid metals. So that made that was basically like killing three liquid metals all at once. So I'll take it. These enemies aren't really that dangerous otherwise. That eight looked weird. Well, I guess this area you can find the metal king slime. So we're just gonna kind of wander around and I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'm getting um, alchemy progress or not. Oh, well, I'm definitely in the right place because I remember people talking about these Bielza buzzes unfavorably. Oh, Metal King Slime decides to stick around. Bielza buzz. Well, it's not a problem anymore. Oh, neither are you! That's so much XP. I'm just getting some more HP, more stats, more skill points to put into stuff that probably... Well, I don't know, maybe Charisma gets him something good. Crystal Knight learns Kefuddle. Level 41 for you. Well, she already learned... More or less, whatever. I guess I'll just put her her points into whips. I don't know. He's a whipper snapper. <laughs> Learns whiplash. Great. Good. Good job. Good on you. Yeah. These. This is the area to to do your grinding in. I guess. I don't know if there's more further in or if this is just the encounter table now because we're this far in or what but yeah it's pretty good Tarantosaurus aren't that bad of XP, honestly. Um, I don't know what's even in here. I just oh well. I mean, I know who. I know one thing that's in here. <laughs> These metal king signs are just kind of showing up. Not even that rare. Like I, I find I find them a lot less commonly, and in all the other places I've seen them. Like I think I found like two total at that slime place I was at with the dark Mickey Mouse slimes, or whatever. Yeah, here we we we've got. They seem a little less likely to run. Which is nice because it gives us that 50 50 to just kill them and get 30,000 XP to make Raptorn fight next stream a little less awful.
Oh, another 50-50 coin flip. Got it. Dragon drops a piece of... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. Gotta love... <laughs> More fresh dragon dung. That's just been around here for a long time. Tyrannosaurus. All right, well. Prepare for pain. Just start using Kaswoosh to use a little less MP and we'll do Kasizzle. Uh, maybe I should try Crackle. I mean, these are dragon, maybe they're weak to ice. Let's see what Crackle does. Surprisingly good damage for 5 MP. Okay. I can deal with that. Rawr. Oh no. If we get into another King Slime fight, we should probably have uh, Jessica do Hustle. What am I looking at? <laughs> Just... This map is a little silly. That's a big group. That's gonna die a painful, painful death. Um, Her do a uh, hustle dance. Pink Typhoon. A sudden Typhoon that rips a group of enemies into ribbons. Interesting. Hustle dance. Go. That's not hustle dance. She's going. There she goes. Interesting. Not the character I would expect to have hustle. I figured that would be Angelo. But, you know, whatever. That's fine. That just gives her... She not only has Catechus, which is a... Mid-heal... <coughs> a mid-heal on a separate character. She now has Kazing and Hustle. So she can actually do some pretty decent healing. If, if required. I'm gonna use this opportunity to get some MP back. Or at least try to. Eh, could be worse. And I was saying how those magic waters are all for Yangus, because, well, he uses 3 MP per swing for that. Uh, executioner stuff, but at this point it might be more useful to have it to use it on the spellcasters because they're just. Ugh, what are you? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no PDA, please. Put those lips away. Smackers. Those aren't very good XP. <laughs> Ooh, treasure. I never went to this dungeon. I don't think it's a required dungeon. But there's some stuff we can probably sell in here to get some money. I'm also assuming, like I was saying, that there's uh, not going to be any alchemy progress in here. Which is unfortunate. <clears throat> but I guess at this point it's either get a lot of XP for very little work or get alchemy progress. But we do need that Timbrel of Tension before we do fight Rapthorn because that will make things a lot easier. Because what that does is when you use it, it gives everyone in your party one level of tension for just using it. 
which increases damage, so you can have one person basically increasing everyone's damage by a good portion every round. Or he's trying to, because Disruptive Wave Wasp will get rid of it. They got the red urn! Look out, it's probably fire! <laughs> Let's give him a... Cause whoosh! And like a sizzle. Let's see how fiery it really is. Eh, they're dragons. They're probably just resistant to fire anyway. Cause whoosh's damage is wildly inconsistent. Belly bump! These guys are also in DQ11. This, this was my first time encountering them in D, it was DQ11. I guess they're in this game first, but I didn't know they were a thing until I played Dragon Quest XI. I have it on Switch. And I was like, oh, these big belly dragons are pretty cool. Well, I'm not seeing as many um, Metal Kings anymore, just a bunch of these other enemies that I don't want to really fight, but... Oh, what the hell was that? Weirdness. I mean, that's a big group that we just wiped out with very little effort, so I can't really be that mad. Ooh, what do we have here? Is there like some sort of like secret dragon boss I can fight? Or something? Doors of Judgment. Oh, I bet I know what this is. There's like something called like the Dragovian Trials. I got a feeling that's what this area would probably leads to. It's a thick dude here. It's a thick dude. What is this? An orb. I'm guessing this is something we can't do yet. <clears throat> I have a feeling it's post-game. But it's cool that this is where it is. And that this is just kind of an optional place and there's just... I guess that would explain why there's Metal King Slimes here. Because they don't, they don't think you'll come here until after you're told to come here. So the enemies are probably just kind of... I mean the other enemies aren't very hard. So I don't know. Maybe they just felt like putting Metal King Slimes here for some reason. Eh. Not gonna complain. I mean, the XP otherwise, we get just a bunch of these, like, dragon things. So there's a bunch of. It's pretty good XP otherwise. Unless we roll. get, like, low rolls with the. Oh, you missed the desperate attack! That might be the first desperate. one of the first or second desperate attacks I've seen not hit. It's mostly because Yengus has a dark robe, so he has higher dodge, so... Yay! Yeah, I was thinking a few more, a few more levels for some more HP for the squishies in particular would be smart. Well now, well, now we know this place is actually decent for XP, we need to go finish our alchemy. So if it's still nighttime, we'll go up to do uh, liquid metals. I don't know if time passes in dungeons. I would assume it would, but apparently not, because... <laughs> yeah, but it's still nighttime. We were running around in there for a while. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of going to Argonia to do our, our heals, because it's literally like right, like right next to this area. 
Actually, there's like a desert chapel place that's even closer. What? Does it like store some like thing of like one of the last areas we were at? And then just gonna replay that back to us? It's kind of weird. Oh boy, muddy. Can we just run from these? I don't feel like dealing with just muddy hands. Seems like a waste of. Seems like a waste of resources. The metal, I can understand this item taking forever to make in the alchemy pot because it's like the best item in the game. Like, almost definitely. I don't want to fight muddy hands. Why are these weak ass enemies on this encounter table? Like during the day there's candy cats, which those don't have any business being around up this high. I guess they just kind of live here, I don't know. And these aren't not, these aren't really scary at all. <laughs> all right, cool, good talk. Oh boy, more of these things that took like five seconds to kill. Alright, um... You could probably get away with just swoosh and then uh, crackle. Just trying to re reduce the amount of MP I'm using on the, like, these not important fights. Cause like, yeah, that's like... Most of those dead and then... Yep, that's the rest. Cool. We can use a lot less MP that way. Oh boy, I level up from that. Alright. 7 HP. More skill points. Going all into courage. He becomes dragon hearted. Can now cast spells with half. Ooh. That's busted, because now his Omni Heals, instead of 27, cost 18. That's unreasonably cheap. So yeah, if we need to do a. Angelo is no longer on healing duty. The hero is on healing duty. He can just heal everyone when necessary. Although, uh, mid heal, uh, multi heal is probably still going to be useful anyway, but. That's a lot. Of, there's no way we're going to kill more than one of these, if any of them, but. You know what? It's fine. You know, you can't really do much useful anyway, Jessica, so just, I guess, do a pistol dance. I mean, she can try to do, like, one damage, which is great, but let's have her heal. It's fine! It's fine! I say, like, through gritted teeth. Oh! Great, all of them left except this fucking weirdo. He's like, what are you gonna do, stand me? Oh, you stand me! <laughs> Only 10k XP, but that's still not bad, and we still gotta get this alchemy done. I dislike how long it takes, like, I guess it's a good excuse to get, to get XP and money or whatever, but... Mm. Y'all are annoying, can I just run? Nope. No, oh, well, well, guess we gotta deal with frogs and a turkey. It's gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna try to do this shit. It's kind of annoying. You know, we're just gonna hit this damn... Well, actually, we need to hit the frogs, too, because... Actually, who do we get? A Yangus? Now we'll just blast this turkey into orbit. 
Because Angelo and Hero are knocked off their feet. <clears throat> and yeah, these little frogs are a lot less dangerous when they're like in their not turned around form. Because it does make a difference, because when they're turned around, they um, have like the demon face and they can do like breath attacks and it's, it's nasty. It's interesting that there's like a just a dichotomy like that of like yeah now they're turned around and they're like blah, 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 blah. and they're like oh I'm nice now it's like I can be your ang angle or I can be your devil <laughs> killer croaker drops a bandana <laughs> why. Why do you have that? Why does a frog have a bandana? <laughs> you know, what? Never mind. I don't want to know. At the very least, I need this alchemy recipe to finish. There's another I want to make, but... I don't know if I'm going to wait on the shield that you can make with it. I mean, it's a really good shield, and I think I have everything I need for it. It's just, it's just a lot of time. Like just a lot of time. Because alchemy in this game is not instant like it is in DQ9 and 11. Although if I remember correctly in 11 they don't really have alchemy so much anymore. They have like the little, uh, they have the fun size forge where you can make weapons and stuff. But I can't remember if you make items. I, I can't, It's it's been a minute since I played 11. Great game! I would hardly need an excuse to play it again because I played it. I played through it once before. Maybe I could do it like with the some of the draconian rules, or maybe I could play it in the 2D version instead of the 3D version. Although the 3D game is just gorgeous, so oh, it's probably daytime. Oh no, I mean there's these, but I guess they're still technically night encounters. It's not very impressive ones. Damn, that one didn't even take damage anything else, it just died. To... Wow, those are, why are those here? They're very weak. Yeah, it's like right on the cusp of daytime. Like, it's like dawn now, basically. But frankly, once the stars disappear, it's probably not nighttime anymore. Or, n I guess now, because gold golems are here. <laughs> Gold Golem is here, Gold Golem is here. Which means we're gonna go res restore our MP. <laughs> All right, cool, good talk. Uh, so we can go ahead and zoom to the, uh, Desert Chapel. <clears throat> Which, if we turn around and look, it's literally, like, in the same, like, region as we are now. We, we we came to this place much earlier on in the in the playthrough, like the beginning of the mid game, I'd say. Okay, then we can go to our lovely little inn here. It it counts it as nighttime, but it's not night encounters anymore. Weird. That's okay. I'll I'll, I'll gladly waste 120 gold just to be able to be like right next to where we're grinding our, our levels. <clears throat> as, like, as you see, we've got like 16k gold now. 
just from all the stuff we've just been mowing through. I haven't really been paying attention because we don't really need gold. Granted, some of that is for, directly from gold golems because whenever it's daytime, or at least considered daytime for the encounters, gold golems show up sometimes and they were like 700 gold apiece. Which definitely goes a good way towards just money. <clears throat> Alright, and from the Desert Chapel, I think we're almost directly going to be facing the area. It's like, it's right here! <laughs> that was the previous battle screen, it looked like, when we fought the gold golems there. Weird. I can't really be, I can't be too hard on the person that made this texture pack because this is a, an incredible amount of work. So I'm not going to say anything bad about it because, I mean, I didn't pay anything for this or the pack, so. Who am I to bitch? It's free and it's really good anyway, so. It's just weird little things like that are just kind of funny. It's like, why does that happen? I'm using all the settings that they suggested to use, and there's just hiccups here and there, which is fine. Again, this was made by, like, as far as I know, a single person, and just completely free of, tar free of charge, so if anything, yeah, like, I'm not complaining about the quality, because it's, it's really good, like, this makes the game look way better. Oh, bloody hands. I guess both hands live here during the night time, I just don't usually see both of them in the same kind of like trip, I guess. Heh, whatever. Uh, well, let's, um, oh, we can do a crackle. That's a, that's a hit all spell as well. Lots of ice. Yeah, I guess these are resistant. They're, they're, they're material family. It makes sense. Mini, mini, mini mineral, mini, mini mineral. I'm not losing my damn mind, right? The aqua just didn't like finish without me knowing, right? Jesus! All right, fine. Carry on. Oh boy, dark turkeys. The dark meat. <laughs> frankly, frankly, of most of the dark uh, kind of enemies, these are pretty tame. Like, about the worst thing you can do is, yeah, like, this scream thing, and it can make your people lose a turn, but that's, not, like, not even really that big of a deal. These enemies, they're not very scary. No, I'll just, I'll just do this again. Like, just, go to, go to sleep, dark turkey. Time to dream. <laughs> And they're not great experience, but I'm just kind of trying to do alchemy right now. This is just taking forever. Like, I want to be surprised if this alchemy recipe doesn't finish until next stream <laughs> with how freaking long it's taking. Like, god damn. Kaboom, and the turkeys are gone. Me. 
All right, we got one turkey left. Cockle doodle do. For a turkey, you sound an awful like a lot like an awful lot like a rooster. <laughs> I need some MP. Thanks, turkey. For one MP. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, there are two. Some, how? Oh, well, whatever. I will see if we can score at least one hit, one kill. You know what? Just do the hustle dance. You don't really do much anyway, damage wise, to these. Because they're immune to magic. That just heals any damage you took from the other garbage in the area. Oh, there's one swing and a miss. I mean, there's a pretty decent chance we'd get at least one, but... It's probably gonna be A. Oh, I don't know, C's... He's being a little rowdy. Damn, that one's just getting bullied. Well, they might both just run and then we get nothing. Well, one's at least sticking around. How considerate. Oh, fine, alright. Well, the A is pretty close to dying if we can just get some more damage on it. Ugh, oh, come on, we're so close. Well, that one's dead. And that one's dead. I knew it was close. <laughs> hey, not too bad. Another level up for Jessica. Alright, cool. 10 more HP, which could, de could certainly make the difference during this next fight. I just, just take whips, I guess. Attack power is equipped by, increased by 10 when she's equipped with a whip. She's almost never going to be equipped with a fucking whip because she gets a lot of MP just by having her staff equipped. Equipped with a whip. Kind of has rhymes a little bit. I wish the alchemy did not take this long. That's the only reason I'm just running around in circles like this. Instead of just doing whistle because... As far as I know, moving around is how the alchemy takes uh, progress happens. I might like... Just fucking look it up. I've been waiting for an hour to make a freaking sage of stone. When will it be done? How long did it take a recipe to finish? Alchemy time is determined by the number of footsteps taken rather than actual time. You must be moving or the recipe will not progress. Distance necessary to complete a recipe can be categorized by into six levels. Each level represents the approximate distance needed to travel a certain amount of steps. Essentially, one of the hero's footsteps represents a slightly smaller distance in a town than in the field. So although he'll be covered in the same distance, he'll reach that distance slightly faster in the wide open fields of the overworld than cramped spaces around town. Apparently the roof of um, 
of a place we were found went to earlier in the game. It's considered overworld, even though it's no monster encounter. So we could just like run around up there if we really needed to get this recipe done. We might do that for the other um, for the other thing I want to make because this thing is one thing I would absolutely have to have before I fight Raptor. No, no questions about it. But yeah, now let's kill this shit. So we'll keep running around until this finishes. I was gonna just run away from this group because it just kind of sucks. Not really good XP, kind of a waste of time. Oh. More hands, oh boy. Jessica, that chicken wasn't that scary. Return. Just could spend most of the battle just hanging out on the ground. Footsteps must be moving or if you want to progress. Oh boy, a lot of these things. I frankly won't be surprised if yeah, like this thing finishes like after like next stream next stream. I don't want it to take that long, but it might it might just take that long. That's a lot of frogs. That might literally be the maximum amount of enemies that can fit in the screen. That's <laughs> so many. Not 
worth my time. But they're probably gonna die, and Jessica's gonna be dead. Oh, no, one of them's alive. Alright, cool. What a fucking waste of my time. <laughs> Get up, Jessica. At least we don't have to rely on just zing. We can do cuzzing. Bastard. We're gonna try this place that there's that I'm reading about that uh Which I'm guessing is here. They keep saying Mori, which That's who this is. I'm pretty sure this is Mori. So we can just run around up here until our alchemy's done, I guess. Just hold the just hold the stick left and and go. <laughs> oh, this is happening. I guess we can just. Oh no, I can just read more about. <clears throat> oh, yep. The, the thing I'm trying to make the Timberwolf attention is the thing that takes like the lot one of the long the longest in the fucking game basically. <clears throat> so we're going to just run in a circle <laughs> until this item is done. Cuz I cannot be bothered to have this take more longer than it already is. It's not very exciting, but I don't think it was gonna be exciting anyway. <clears throat> oh yeah, I could just walk into the corner like this. I could just hold one direction. I'm just gonna walk into this wall. <laughs> Using this secret, it's done. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <clears throat> A timbrel of tension. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's an item. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was an item or if it was like a helmet or whatever it is, but yeah, like, that's super, super useful. Uh, I guess we'll start the other recipe I was trying to do, which I think was the, uh, let me see, let me click through it. It's like the Metal King, uh, like the, the Metal Shield. Yeah, Metal King Shield, so. See, that is a Ruinous Shield, which we have somewhere. Ruinous Shield, Saint's Ashes, and Aura Calcum. Okay, and then we have Saint's Ashes, which we only got one more of, and then we're out. And, but we can buy you can buy Saint's Ashes at the casino. That's funny. Uh, there they are. Better than better than how to get in. Um, actually, no, getting Saint's Ashes in Dreq9 was really easy. There's these enemies called uh, Genie Sanguinis that you can pickpocket to get. Um, 
Saints Ashes pretty reliably, which is weird, but hey, at, at some point, you can find them on a small island um, in like a earlier part of the game, and you can just kind of rough house with them there. They're, they're kind of one of the, they're one of the enemies from like, I think, either close to the last dungeon or the last dungeon in the game. <clears throat> now we'll make this shield. Which is gonna take like another like, I think it's like 10 minutes of walking, probably. Uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Go away, ad, God. Uh, game if it keeps being bought by those assholes that make that one wiki site that just monetize literally everything is just the worst because there's ads everywhere. Yeah, like just weird random ads of just random stuff when I'm trying to like look at. Right, let's... Okay, yeah, it's definitely an item you just kind of use in, in battle. Um, I don't want it on Angelo. Because in case he has to heal. Yangus is probably the safest season because he's probably going to be going last. Yeah, that's probably who we'll just keep it on. All right, so we're making another item that's gonna t this it's gonna take like eight minutes, so we're just gonna walk into this wall for eight minutes. <laughs> just gonna hold the stick down. I'm gonna just kind of read more of this thread about like item drop rates or whatever. How about this wall? Let's just get in this nice little crack right here. Oh, yeah. Put your nose right in the crack, Yangus. <laughs> so this is the secret method that doctors don't want you to know about to get thick like Yangus. You just walk into a wall for like eight minutes straight and you'll get just round and thick. Big ass, big arms, little torso. <laughs> just an, an orb of a man. No idea what his hat is either. I've just like not really thought about it. And you get a nice look, a nice view of Mori's thick ass from down here too. He's just there, just, just caked up. <laughs> you can see the ruffle of his little scarf in the, in the wind. Yep, we're literally just gonna do this. It's the fastest way to do alchemy stuff. I was trying to do it. I was trying to combine grinding and this, but you get so many less steps when you're getting into like fights. And this alchemy stuff is just kind of like stuff that's keeping us from doing the final stuff next time. Let's see, metal king shield. It's say it, this guide's recommending we make a metal king armor as well, but. Eh, I don't know. Once this shield is done, we can we'll we'll have that shield for the hero. And that silver shield that the hero already has will go to Yangus. 
It's say we should make a phantom mask for Angelo, but mm, maybe. Depending on how long that takes. very close to just being at the end of the game. I think after, the only thing we do after we we have all the orbs, so now we can just go fight Rapthorn. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, this is just a prep stream for, uh, next time. Which involves just running into this wall for eight minutes so we can make this, this, this shield. It's not, it's not exciting, it's not fun, and hopefully I don't break my controller just holding the stick like this for like eight minutes. <laughs> This phantom mask. I don't. I can't imagine it take very long to make. We need another dark robe, which can. We need to buy all the stuff for it, or we can just find it. Cloak of Evasion. I think I can buy that in uh, Argonia. I want to say. I think I have a Devil's Tail on the Wing of Bat somewhere. I get it's his best headgear. Other than Metal King Helm, which the hero can wear. <laughs> this is silly. But unfortunately, this is the fastest way to do alchemy stuff is just sit here and walk into the wall it's not fun I'm just kind of looking at just random alchemy guides peak gameplay just running into the wall <laughs> oh it's okay that was quicker than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be another two minutes or so but no we're, we're apparently we make good time running into the wall <laughs> <laughs> Metal King Shield. Okay, I think the next thing I want to make is this uh, phantom head, phantom mask. But damn it, I pressed the wrong thing. The X and O buttons kind of do the same thing, but on my control, I have an Xbox control, so it's like B and A, <laughs> because I'm not going to buy an, a PlayStation control just to, just to play this stuff. That would be a little silly. Ultimate shield, reduces damage from fire and ice-based spells. That's a very strong shield, it looks like, actually. Jeez. I kind of wish we could make more than one of these. Okay. And it's still a bit of, bit of a boost for Yangus here. Okay. We'll get this out of his bag because we need one space for the Rapthorn fight. I can already see we have a wing of bat. We can buy an iron headgear in Ortusk or Kutsk, rather. Um, let's 
go to Argonia. I think that's where we can buy the um, cloak, the evasion cloak. If it's not there, then I think it's um, there's like a little campsite nearby Argonia where I think I bought one. Uh, yep, yeah, it's about streaming time. Tomorrow we're going to be starting to play uh, Tales of the Abyss. I've got some config stuff for that I've got to try to figure out to make it look pretty. But if not, if I can't figure out, then we'll be playing uh, playing it. Basic uh, basic configs, basic look, etc, etc. Which is fine. I'm sure it's, it's a PS2 game. It doesn't look the worst. Like, this game without this patch looks a little rough because that's because it's a 2004 fucking game, you know? It's gonna look a little rough. Okay, I think I have to go to the inn and sleep. So I think it's this person that might that might sell the um. Really love axes, and I like combining them in all sorts of ways. Our friend's a thief, see? The other day, I mixed his favorite tool with a battle axe. He was furious at me, though. So I shouldn't have turned the tool he used to make a living, a living into a dumb axe. Can you believe that? Battle axe and a crook's tool. <laughs> Interesting. This is like, oh, I'm gonna talk to this fucking leather daddy. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Becky, why are you yodeling in there? He's just yowling to himself, for himself. I'm pretty sure I can buy this um, cloak of evasion here. If not, there's someone near, somewhere nearby. I think I can buy it. Should have enough money. If not, I know I have a few things I can sell. Like I got a dragon shield in that dragon dungeon place we were at. Okay, it's not here, but I do I do want the silver tiara anyway. Oh wait, I already have it equipped. Cool. All right. Yeah, I got the like this dragon shield. All right. Well. Let's see if we can go get, find that um. Find that place real quick. Might be a little hard to pinpoint off the the, the the world map with the bird, but I will do my best because I just don't I don't feel like getting into extra encounters for no good reason. Let's see, we flip around this way and pretty sure it's like right there where that little little hut is. Like there's like a little there's like a little hut with some people sitting around a fire. And I'm pretty sure one of them sells the cloak of evasion. I think I remember buying one. Kind of wish I would have kept kept one. But I remember buying at least one of them when I was passing through here during this part of the game. You can carry on working in the line of fire. Wait, is it not you that sells stuff? Is it? You? Yes, it's this guy. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Yep, it's this guy. <laughs> I remember just this vague like thing of like, oh, this person sells this. All right. Well, let's start the alchemy process for that, and then we'll go to Orkutsk and buy the iron mask that we need. Right, so it's you. I need a wing of bat, and I know there's a devil tail in my bag somewhere. I'm almost certain I just have one. Yep, we have two. Perfect. And then I need a wing of bat, which is right here. And I'll make a I'll make a second dark robe. 
Well, the reason I'm making a second dark robe is because I have one on Yengus already, but like, it's a really good piece of gear for him. So I don't want to like, you know, use it up in a recipe and have him not have his gear anymore because it would not be going towards Yengus' gear. Or, or Kutsk. And it's about 11 now, but I might just like try to like pump out this alchemy recipe pretty fast because I can't imagine it's going to take long for this one because... Let's see if I can spot it in this list here. Oh, yep, it would take like four and a half minutes. So, yep. Yeah, we'll just do that one real quick and then... Actually, it would take four minutes, like four and a half minutes for the dark robe and get out of the, don't just stand there. Just, dude, just stopping in the middle, <laughs> like right in the middle of the freaking floor. I might have went the wrong way. This place is kind of annoying. It's like all in a ring, which is convenient and makes sense for if you're in a very cold part of the world to have, like, everything inside. Do you sell armor? You do. And you have... Wait, did I look at this wrong? Uh, iron headgear. Okay, it's not the iron mask, it's iron headgear, which... Man, I, I need it for this recipe. Alright, so. Now we gotta get out of this hellhole. <laughs> it seemed like it took less time than what I was expecting it to for the last one, so hopefully that'll take less time for this one too. So yeah, let's, uh, Zoom back to Mori's place, and we'll go on the roof, and we'll just run around for a little bit. Get on this roof before I get bothered by monsters, and we'll go back to our nice little corner here, and we'll just kind of walk in place. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. Have, I think there's a way to have like game-specific configs in uh, this emulator I'm using, so I'm gonna have to look into that because I don't want to have to like change all the configs for this to stuff that's gonna be for Tales of the Abyss, and then have to do it again. That seems like a like a not good idea. Like that seems like it'd be a waste of my time. I'll try to finish this one real quick, and then. Yeah, to start the next stream, we might try to finish the other recipe. I guess it depends on how long this one takes, because we're just, we're, we're going, we're gaming. We are positively just gaming right now. day now yeah I think we'll do the other rest we'll start the other recipe and then we'll we'll save and that'll be the end of this stream for this day
Yeah, I gotta figure out if there's like game specific configs. I'm pretty sure there is. I think I saw something about that in the settings when I was kind of poking around with it, but. We'll figure it out, but. Let's finish this alchemy. He likes this crack in the wall better. <laughs> oh, it's done. Another dark robe. Well, even common items have the power to impress when they're homemade. Good show. Common item, my ass. Okay. That's literally what he's wearing already. Okay, dark robe and the iron headgear that I just bought. I mean... That really didn't take that long at all, like literally four minutes, so I think we will just try to pump this recipe out. We'll just sit here and I'll just kind of look at... Make it, we're just getting really acquainted with this wall. <laughs> it's like I know you're every crack and crevasse wall.
should be almost done. It's 11.08, and the last one finished at 11.04, and this one should take like four and a half minutes. So we should be almost done with this recipe, and after that we will... I think there's another recipe I want to do, but we'll do that next time. I'll just keep the page up and open for that one. So at the beginning of next stream, we'll do this kind of deal. Oh, there it is. There's that, that recipe done. Do this kind of deal for that before we fight Rapthorn. Phantom Mask. That is Angelo's best piece of, of gear. For his head, at least. Let's put that on, and then we'll... Also makes some dodge easier, and it's ten more defense than this mithril helmet that probably cost us a lot of money. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to Triangoli, because for us to get the um, the other thing I want to make for Jessica, it's a helm. It's a, it's a, a gold tiara. We need a thinking cap. Uh, we have a gold, we have a gold nugget. We have a silver tiara she's wearing, and we need to buy a thinking cap, which is expensive. So we might have to sell some things to get it. We'll save here too, cause we can, you know, just do that. Dude, just hopping around, having a great time. King Trojan's just Naruto running around the place because he's allowed to be just out and about here because, I mean, look at him. He's like DBZ Yoda. <laughs> yeah, we need to buy this and we're just shy, but I think we have some stuff we can sell in the bag. Like this. I'm sure there's probably something else we can sell. Well, I mean, could, but mm, probably shouldn't. We can, we can sell that. That was, like, extra. And I know this dragon armor is extra as well. Or dragon mail, rather. Yep, thinking cap. Now we will go save. I think we have to go back out. And go down to the chapel. And we'll make the uh, gold tier or whatever. Oh. <laughs> the, the texture pack had a bit of an oopsie doodle there. Cat is just yodeling to himself. Well, this is the best priest, anyway. Do you have any idea what time it is? What brings you to my church at this insane hour of the night? Out, out, out with it then. Confess thy deeds before the great imp. Eep, I mean, benevolent goddess. <laughs> he talks like he's just got a big ass tongue. <laughs> What a goofy little man. You wanna continue adventuring now? No. So be it. Go on then. Rest. See if I care. Cool. Alright, so that is where our stream's getting in today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate the company. Uh, tomorrow we're starting Tales of the Abyss, which is a fan fa other fan favorite. I haven't played it yet. It's one of the ones I've just never played because I never had a PS2. Uh, let's see if I can raid someone real quick. Let's take a look. A little bit of a look-see. Uh, back to Twitch. 
But boy, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to raid into Digi here because, yeah, Digi's good people. Play, playing Pathologic as usual. So I'm going to end my stream. We'll be raiding into Digi Dragon 7. See you next time.